I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, show good sportsmanship, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up, God bless. Yes, it really is a fight for the ages. The two premier boxers of their generation going head to head in the fight that so many said would never happen. Here it is, at last, it is happening. And an interesting late move in the betting market, a lot of money flooding in now on a Manny Pacquiao knockout. He's come in from fives, down to nine to two. One of those gamblers know that Floyd Mayweather doesn't know. What's this fella got off his sleeve? What's Freddie Roach cooked up? We are about to find out. 16,000 people here in the arena. Millions watching around the world. And the biggest fight of the century is on. Up and running. The expectation is that Pacquiao is the one that will get off to the fast start and that needs to get off to a fast start. But that's what the experts have been saying. What's actually going to happen? Mayweather, normally so defensive, looking to land the counters. Will he go on the front foot? Well, the early signs say, say that Mayweather wants to claim the centre of the ring. Manny Pacquiao really has to come forward to be at his most effective. So if you can stop that match forward, then that's a huge plus. And that's what Mayweather's trying to do, he's trying to hold his ground, he wants to counter, he wants to draw mistakes, but he doesn't want to be backed up. Looking sharp already, Mayweather. I don't expect much of the rope I don't for, from Mayweather, I think he'll, he'll use movement, lateral movement a lot, because Pacquiao throws so many punches, are beautiful stuff. And that is a shot but he's going to send a warning to Manny Pacquiao early, that straight right hand, and all the talk in Mayweather's camp is that he has been building for power, he looks well muscled. Roy Jones Jr. was one to say he thinks that some of the speed for Mayweather is slipping, in which case he's going to need that power, that's what they've been working on, and if they can draw Pacquiao onto one of those straight right hands, like the one that he fell into against Juan Manuel Marquez that time, it could be all over. Mayweather is measuring and using the range so well, he's just flitting on the edge of the range, he's trying to invite Pacquiao to lead. Pacquiao is trying to work things out. I don't think the southpaw stance will, will be a factor at all in this fight because Manny's not your KG awkward southpaw, he's an aggressive southpaw, but he cannot throw a six at the moment, he cannot get started. Well, of course, he knows he cannot be reckless. You go back that to that, yeah, that Marquez fight, he was reckless. He went in looking for the big finish. That's one thing that Freddie Roach will have been preaching in the wild card. You make mistakes, you take risks against uh, Mayweather, you are going to pay, he will eat you alive. Nick Mayweather has not touched the ropes since this round started. He has not touched the ropes, and that's not like Floyd Mayweather. He wants this done in the centre of the ring where he always has an escape route when it's needed and they must stop the march forward of Pacquiao and he's done it to good effect so far in the opener and he's landed two solid right hands in there as well Pacquiao at the moment can't find anything now he's in a corner but again Mayweather so quick just to tie things up you hear what the crowd think about that I think we'll see a lot of that next, we'll see a lot of that Terrific start to this one. Well, Manny Pacquiao went to his corner smiling. Mike Tyson is with us. Iron Mike, one of the people that thinks Manny Pacquiao is going to win this fight. He says he wins with punch volume and his high motor. We didn't see much of either in that opening session. I thought Mayweather was brilliant in the opening round, Nick. Did everything right. He was like a snake ready to pounce at all times. Stood right in front of Pacquiao, did not allow him to get any momentum or any rhythm in his work. Posed some problems for him, hit him with a couple of punches. Just showed him who he reckons the puncher is in this. So Manny Pacquiao is a big thing to do that. The smile is gone, Nick. 
Mora already. Just one round in. It's Pacquiao. That's the man that's got to make the adjustments. Mayweather in the early going here looks very, very in control. Pacquiao almost that just was, lunged in on that one. That was beautiful. He's going to do it with foot movement. As I say, we won't see the rope a dope. He won't allow Pacquiao to, get, to start throwing barrages of punches. Here's the right hand. This is beautiful stuff from Mayweather. And again, he's just dancing away there. Terrific movement. It's Pacquiao that's one of the great movers in boxing. Big cheer went up there, but Mayweather slipped underneath that left hand. He's going to have to be careful about points deductions if he keeps grabbing hold of Pacquiao. So a lot will depend just on how lenient the referee wants to be. Pacquiao getting him a bit closer to the ropes in this round than he was in the previous round, but not making it pay yet. Struggling to land anything clean at all in the early going here. Pacquiao. Mayweather, he's a little bit tense. So, I mean, this can burn up the, the, the energy. Pacquiao was relaxed. He's not really producing as yet, but he's relaxed. He's moving forward. He's not burning up nervous energy. I get the feeling that Mayweather is burning up a little bit of that. Now, the heads came together there on the gravel again. He's going to end up losing points. A lot will depend on how strict this referee Bayless is. Pacquiao looking to close him down. He's got Mayweather in the corner, but he's swinging wildly and he's not connecting. Again, big cheers for Pacquiao. Needs to retune the radar here. Well, he knows he has to do it with busts of punches and he has to pounce into action. He, he can't box his way close to Mayweather. He's just going to have to maybe lunge in at times, take some chances. I'll get solid right hand again if he does from Mayweather. Lunge, if he does lunge in, Jim. He could walk right onto one of those right hands and he knows it. But he's not going to box his way and gradually that's not going to happen. He seems to be caught between two caps at the moment, Pacquiao. Oh, no, 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 let him up. Mayweather is so good when he makes a mistake, not allowing the other guy to capitalise on it. You see the way he pushed the Pacquiao down there when he made a little slip. Pacquiao just can't get close enough to be effective. And, and Mayweather's tactics have taken Pacquiao out of his natural game already. He's looking solid, Mayweather, up to now. No, nothing clean there, nothing landing. There, nothing there at all. And at what point does Pacquiao get reckless, take a couple of chances? What happens when he does? Mayweather just toying with him at the moment. Again, Mayweather, the centre of the ring, not allowing the chance forward that Manny Pacquiao is famous for. Now, swinging and hoping there, Pacquiao. Well, Mayweather, the master defensive strategist, of course. We are seeing why. Mark Wahlberg. Not sure if he's happy or not. P. Diddy in the building as well. Those two, of course, have a little side bet going on this one. And if you're a betting man and you put some money on a Pacquiao knockout, you're probably not too thrilled with what you've seen in those first two rounds. No, Manny has never had so much trouble in any of his fights for getting punches home, even against Marquez. Marquez was prepared to exchange punches. This guy is in work today, is not. The great thing that Manny Pacquiao has got is speed. And we're just not seeing that being used effectively tonight so far. Mayweather has totally neutralised that. Mayweather is the master, of course, of taking what you've got and taking it away. But he usually warms his way into it. He's done it from the first bell. And remember what Mayweather did against Juan Manuel Marquez. Marquez sat just behind us, could barely land a glove on him. And then most people who fancy Pacquiao fancy him because he's going to have a fast start. And Mayweather will be playing catch up. Well, that certainly has not happened. Well, most people who fancy Mayweather think he's going to have to come from behind. Most people think, I'm sure Carl Proch sat next to us, was thinking the same that Pacquiao may well take the first two, three rounds as Mayweather works his way into it. At the moment, you can barely count a shot that Pacquiao has landed. See, Pacquiao is not being allowed 
to box the weight he normally boxes. That was low. That was low. Packy made it. Uh, Manny made a little bit more of it maybe than was needed, but it certainly was low. See, every time there's a little shrug when Manny's about to do something, Floyd just gets himself out of there. Not nothing landing there. Not even been allowed. Not that holding again from me where there's going to have to be a little bit careful of that. Looking to work his way in again. Missing again with the left hand and missing very, very badly. And again, Mayweather is just, he's defusing a bomb here. See, you don't move away from a fighter who throws barrels of punches. You move up close and take away the effectiveness of it. It's messy, it's untidy. A third referee could maybe get Floyd Mayweather some problems tonight, but he's getting away with what he's doing so far. Flicking the right hand out there. Now this is this is mastery from Mayweather, it really is. Just slipping inside that left hand once again. Pacquiao looking to try and up the tempo a little bit. See if he can knock Mayweather out of his rhythm, because Mayweather is just so comfortable in there at the moment. And then the big push down as well. I think the referee is going to have to have a word with me where that he's getting away with just a little bit too much. But he's making it work, and if the referee, the referee leaves you to it, carry on with it. But Takeo Nick is the one struggling at the moment. Fainting body movement. Mayweather just watching him. Mayweather goes for the big right hand and misses. Mayweather looking a bit more relaxed himself now. Well, I just think he's extraordinarily comfortable. I think this is so far has been easier for him than even he was expecting. Just so far out of range. He's just toying with Pacquiao at the moment. Pacquiao looks to just move in and close in on him, but. Mayweather got the first right hand and in that exchange Pacquiao goes back to his corner smiling looking around look at the reaction he gets is this man bothered look. you're doing the right thing now you're hitting with the right hand well Pacquiao got so much to his success at the end of that round but he was outboxed the greater part of it, this is the low blow, and it was actually glanced high, actually come off the glove, so it wasn't that serious a, a low blow to, to complain about, but I think the referee's been pretty lenient with Mayweather, I wonder if that'll continue, if it does, Pacquiao's going to have some big problems, because he's spoiling at every turn, every chance he gets, he's spoiling. Well, let's bring Carl Froch in now. Carl, was this the start that you were expecting? Was this the script you saw? Yeah, well, I've never sat ringside and watched Floyd Mayweather, and now I'm sitting and watching him, I am mesmerised, I'm amazed. He is unbelievable. So sharp, so accurate. I don't know what Manny Pacquiao can do to get near him, I really don't. He's been so comfortable so far. All that early pressure we were expecting from Pacquiao. The foot speed, those fast, sharp hands. The power that no, he carries no, no. in the okay. left hand, all of them completely up to now neutralised. I mean, by that, Mayweather. Was, that was Mayweather, the counter punch against both of lead, those leads off first. So difficult to catch cleanly. I think that, that one caught him in the forehead, quite a solid left hand from Pacquiao. I think Mayweather felt that one. Uh, now looking to work downstairs. Pacquiao there gets a bit of a warning. Well, he's starting to just up the volume of punches now in the hope that something's going to start getting through Pacquiao. And that's something else that the experts said he's going to do. Even if it's bouncing off gloves and elbows, throw punches, keep Mayweather engaged. Well, this is where Mayweather should not be, because the perception is that uh, Pacquiao is outworking him when he's back to the ropes, even if all the punches aren't landing cleanly. A little bit better this from Pacquiao. Mayweather needs to land some clean shots out the centre of the ring to take the initiative away and just say to the idea out of the judges' minds that Pacquiao was getting a foothold there. Just picking out those jabs. Pacquiao 
was blocking off and looking to counter left himself. And Mayweather felt that. And now it's Mayweather's turn to cover up. Well, a real moment of success for Pacquiao. Mayweather felt that. That's exactly what Manny Pacquiao needed. Just a, something to give him confidence. This is terrific from him. A shake of the head from Mayweather. But he's not fooling anybody. Got caught with the right hand there as well, Mayweather. Pacquiao turning things around a little bit now. Well, Manny Pacquiao has been in some real tough fights. He doesn't mind taking punches to land them. Mayweather has never been in that kind of fight. If it becomes that kind of fight, will Mayweather be able to stick with it? Not so much movement now coming from Mayweather, because he's just trying to draw Pacquiao in. Got out of trouble effortlessly there. And every time Pacquiao throws, the place just erupts. A little decent shots to the body there. Pacquiao's round this gym, no question. No question. And he needed it. Now. He needed it. Both landed there, but Pacquiao the most solid shot. But that has got everybody excited. And I say everybody because it feels like it's an entirely pro Pacquiao house. Look at the effect that left hand had on Mayweather. Well, all he could do is cover up. And that this is the reason I reckon they would never do the rope do not He would keep in the center of the ring. Because even if these punches have been blocked, it's giving the initiative to Pacquiao. And, and the judges are looking at who's in the driving seat. And that was certainly Manny Pacquiao in that round. Beautiful left hand. Just knocked him onto his heels. Up come the defenses. But the perception was there, that he was struggling, good body shots from Pacquiao, exactly. That's what being a champion is all about, when you're struggling, produce your best work, and that was terrific work from him there. Here's the left hand. That's the left hand that Ricky Hatton and Shane Mosley, who fought both these men, both of them said, Pacquiao is the harder puncher. Mosley was saying he was just so stunned he didn't know where it had come from. It was delivered with such speed that left hand. And of course we saw what it did to Ricky. Mayweather certainly felt one. That's where Mayweather must be. He must be in the centre of the ring. He must meet Pacquiao as he comes forward. But if Pacquiao can force him back towards the ropes, that's where Pacquiao's got his man where he wants him. Fascinating tactical battle unfolding here. Between two men with over 40 world title fights between them. See, I think Mayweather knows Pacquiao has to be coming close, forward. And he's close. pushing him back. This is clever stuff again from Mayweather. Don't know if he can sustain it. Now, these are just kind of fending off jabs from Mayweather. A little snap behind them. But he's keeping Pacquiao at bay. Terrific. A straight line attack. Yep. Referee has to be on his case again there. Holding with the head and punching with the other hand. Well, he hasn't allowed Pacquiao to build on that success as yet. Only halfway through the round, of course. Ah, that was clever. Yeah, it's these right hand counters. Pac Pacquiao's trying to box his way in, and that's when it doesn't work. It's when he puts himself on Mayweather that he got the success there. But he's shuffling forward, and that is not going to work. First two minutes have been Mayweather's, there's more of the spoil. This is where a referee really has to have a stern word, but he's not doing it, he's leading him to it. Not Kenny Bayless not having it. Happy with what Mayweather is doing. Once again, Mayweather naturally bigger with all those natural physical advantages, looking to make them count here. But he's holding the charge off, you know, he's standing his ground and that is so important. He's back onto the ropes now, time to 
show some lateral movement, that's it, just get yourself out of there, clever stuff. Pacquiao hasn't been allowed to produce so far in this round within the last half minute. He's been made to miss a lot as well. So if this continues, it's another round for Mayweather. There's no real fire in Pacquiao's performance at the moment. He's trying to pick his way forward, trying to box his normal fight, and that is not working against Mayweather. Again, out of range, Pacquiao and Mayweather. Just putting distance between them, as he does so well. Mayweather's got the range just where he wants it. Danny Pacquiao's family watching at ringside. Jinky looking concerned. Pacquiao supporters must be concerned with what they've seen so far. And what can Freddie Roach do about this? Well, I think the tempo's wrong for Pacquiao. Can we hear what he said? This is no, this is counter puncher tempo. This is shooting Mayweather down to the ground. He's standing his ground in the centre of the ring, not allowing Pacquiao to back him up. He's got his tactics right. Pacquiao has to raise the tempo, has to show his, you know, the, the volume that he can throw, the, the way he normally throws. Well, we're looking at that. There was a bit of an exchange between Floyd Mayweather and Kenny Bayliss, who was gesturing to Mayweather, keep your punches up, and Mayweather looking back at him, as if to say, have you gone mad? That was quite a little exchange those two just had. A short right hand from Mayweather again there. I mean, th this is so clever, the way he stands his ground there. So clever. The guard was we hard. Blocked. Yep, we were blocked. And he really unloaded there, but surely this is what Pacquiao's got to do, let the punches flow, even if they are bouncing off arms and gloves and elbows. Well, as I say, Nick, the tempo is wrong, the tempo suits Mayweather. Well, he's changing that tempo here, Pacquiao. And suddenly, Mayweather doesn't look as relaxed as he did in that last round, or indeed the first three, and he launched a right hand at this badly there, Mayweather. Let it go, let it go, let it go, there we go, keep it clean. Doesn't like pressure anywhere that never has done, no counter puncher does. I think he's going to have to hurt Pacquiao, he's going to have to give him something to worry about. Power wise, he hasn't done that yet. When you talk about the pressure, oh, look to land the right hand counter there, Mayweather, it was clever. Okay, Missing okay, again there, okay, but this is, that's why another legend. Like I say, most fighters were in the Mayweather camp, but Mike Tyson wasn't a Norse Roberto Duran. He said, stylistically, it's a perfect fight for Pacquiao because Mayweather doesn't like pressure fighters. But this isn't pressure at the moment. No, that's Pacquiao. the problem, isn't it? it? He's got to get bust. the pressure. He's got to sustain it. Yeah, but he's fighting a little bust. That was a better left hand over the top. And now Mayweather, trapped in a corner, gets the guard up. Mayweather takes some body shots and Manny Pacquiao continues to let the punches go and Mayweather says not bothering me not one little bit a oh, good solid shot caught him in the forehead he felt that one good sort of left hand from Pacquiao there Mayweather looking to reach in with the right hand to the body this is better again from Pacquiao, that's the Pacquiao we expected to see. Launching his attacks, getting out, raiding. Yeah, this is where he has to, he has to fight in busts. But you know, five and six punches at a time. You know, you can't avoid five and six busts. Single punches, a waste of time against Mayweather. There's nothing in these punches that Mayweather's thrown at the moment. Pacquiao looking to just measure it intelligent aggression that Freddie Roach was talking about. Clever little right hand counter there. Mayweather looking to just try and get that jab going. Keep Pacquiao at bay. We haven't seen much of the right hand from Mayweather in that round. A better one for Pacquiao. I've got Floyd 4-2 up at halfway.
And how are those legs? So many people say he's slowing down. I'm believe me, I'm telling you right now. They don't take me fight from you. I think Mayweather must find something to discourage Pacquiao. He has to hit him hard. You know, I thought before this started that Mayweather was going to be the puncher. I'm changing my mind. The left hand of Pacquiao has troubled Mayweather each time it's landed. And uh, this is what impresses the judges. Putting your hands up, OK, you're blocking some of the shots. But when you don't come back with anything, the perception is that Pacquiao is in the driving seat. Floyd Senior not happy at all. was giving Floyd a roasting there and Floyd wasn't listening halfway we go into part two Jim that's how you're seeing it yep yep two points up see that's the trouble with Floyd I don't think he would listen to anybody on the corner this is what he must do he must back back out he must get his respect he must know that if he makes a mistake he's going to be hurt and I think that's what Mayweather is doing at the moment he must move in behind the punches and hurt Pacquiao. Pacquiao knows he has the power, so he has to show some back. Look at the difference in the fight when Pacquiao is not allowed to marod forward, but he's left thinking at long range. Caught again. I think the feet get caught there. You know, I don't think that was, it was. It was a good punch that landed, but I think the feet get caught off as well. He wasn't hurt by it. Well, Mayweather starting to land some counters now. Well, this is where he's got to be. He has to be away from the ropes. And look at Atlanta right hand there as well. And then just lunge in. Kenny Bayless separates them. There he is, centre of the ring again. You know, I'm wondering, Nick, who will it suit when the, the pace slows down? Will it suit the, you know, the precise Mayweather? Or will it suit Pacquiao? Because the pace has to to slow down, I mean, this has been a terrific pace here. Not getting close enough, Pacquiao. Mayweather just getting his equilibrium back again, they don't like that, they want him to stand and engage, that's not happening. Don't push him down, don't push him down. Now Pacquiao's been kept at arm's length so far for this round. that nuisance jab again and a lot of these are getting blocked but it's just keeping Pacquiao off keeping him thinking and again look at Floyd couldn't be more central if you if you placed him there absolutely dominating the ring here took a shot there the right hand leap from Pacquiao now Pacquiao every success he follows it up but I don't think I don't think he's produced an awful lot in this round Pacquiao not a lot to split them in this round, but I think Mayweather is the slightly the better, unless something changes here. Uh, Pacquiao working his way into this after that so slow start. And Mayweather still trying to take the centre of the ring. Fascinating little battle brewing here. Let's bring Carl Froch in. You're seeing a, a changing of the tide at all? Well, Manny Pacquiao was getting totally dominated. I still think he is being dominated. But he had a very good round four with that right hand he landed. He seemed to have left cross, actually. It's up or left. Seemed to have landed, shaken up Mayweather there. Mayweather just went into his defensive shell of it. He lost that round and I also gave Manny Pacquiao round six. But I just see Floyd Mayweather taking control again and doing doing what he does is uh, the best, you know, he's taking back over and seems to be back in full control. Pacquiao needs to do raiding attacks and sustain a high work rate. I don't seem to think he's got it in him. It doesn't look like he's got what he needs to do. It's not the Pacquiao that we've seen in the past. We expect a high volume of punches, a really a real high motor, always working, always pushing, always developing. But it, it's almost like I said earlier, Carl, like he's been caught in two minds more often than not. Yeah, he's looking like he wants to do a raiding attack and he, he needs to throw a lot of punches in clusters. And I mean, Mayweather's brilliant. Mayweather's catching him with a counter right and making it impossible for him. 
But I just can't see Pacquiao turning this round. But I think he's going to push forward now and really have a go. He needs to. He certainly does. Round eight here. And Mayweather continuing to give the impression that he is in control, that he is the governor in there right now. I think his tactics are brilliant. When he stands his ground and doesn't allow Pacquiao to come forward, he's brilliant. If I was Mayweather's corner, I would have sent him out to hurt Pacquiao with a good, solid right hand. He has the power to do it. He doesn't use power. Good stuff there from Pacquiao. But Mayweather immediately goes into that defensive shell, but Pacquiao lands another left there. Got to be careful, though. Taking risks. Yeah, but I think against me, really, you have to be prepared to miss with punches, but catch him with the next one. If you try to be precise against me, really, you're playing into his game because you're dropping your own pace and your work rate. So you have to be prepared to miss, but let the punches flow. This is good stuff from Pacquiao at the moment. Tremendous support for Pacquiao, who missed there. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Again, a little warning for a low one. Didn't on. see anything wrong, I think those punches no. were de deflected from Pacquiao's defence there, they were low. He's looking comfortable again here, Mayweather. <laughs> Bromley does get backed up into the corner, let's see if he tries to get out of there, and effortlessly does. Pacquiao chasing without much success in this round. We get down to the last minute here of round eight. Oh, good shot from Mayweather. That's clever and that's again. Up as well. no, the, the, that's as confident a move as I've seen from Mayweather tonight. Stood his ground, didn't worry about what was coming back because he knew nothing was coming back. Yeah. Looking solid at the moment, Mayweather, well, isn't he? You raised the question of was he going to tire at 38? Was he going to start feeling it? If anything, it's Pacquiao that's starting to look a little bit leg-weary here. Well, he's not been allowed to fight the, the way he wants to fight, and that's his huge problem. He's not been allowed to exert the pressure that he's so good at. Mayweather beginning to get a little bit cheeky now, dropping the hands, oh, using the reflexes. This is all his confidence, and the judges look at this, and it sways them one way or the other. That nah, lovely stuff again. Oh, he's just in control. You know, you don't have to be a, a specialist boxing judge to know who's running this one at the moment. And it's Mayweather. And I don't think Pacquiao ever recovered from those early two or three rounds when Mayweather just came out and took control. Those were rounds Mayweather was supposed to struggle. Those were the ones where Pacquiao was supposed to get some early rounds in the bank, and it never happened for him. It's Pacquiao with his play and catch up with very limited success. Mayweather right now literally got him where he wants him. Look at that distance. There comes the left hand. He's getting the odd one here and there, but it's few and far between. That was early in the round, and we thought, will he capitalise on that? That was the, every time that left hand lands, it troubles Mayweather. There's a lot of power in it. But he's never been allowed to, to build anything, and from that point on, Mayweather got his plan back in place. There have been some close rounds, I've liked the quality of Mayweather, but I, I just think that the tempo suits Mayweather, he's making the tempo suit him. Pacquiao has to raise the tempo and try to take charge. Well, he certainly lost a few rounds here and there, Mayweather, but that happens. And of course, don't forget, it's a perception thing with boxing as well, it's subjective, it's who you like, it's what you like. If you like punches thrown, then you're favouring Pacquiao. Something else a lot of the experts said, he's going to give the, the appearance of just throwing more, that Mayweather, I remember Bernard Hopkins was saying this, Mayweather will have to throw more punches than he's used to, just to give the appearance that he's on top of things and, and staying with him. But Pacquiao has yeah. thrown a lot more punches. I thought the same, but he's not allowing Pacquiao to throw punches. And it's amazing how he's managing to do that. This is better than Pacquiao. I mean, I expected Pacquiao to be raining punches towards Mayweather, but he hasn't been allowed to just because of that constant movement. Uh, that's, that's, 
Mayweather tying him up again. And let's see if Kenny Bayless is going to do anything. And no, he is not. You see, the fact that Mayweather's not been forced to hold quite so much in recent rounds, that proves that he's not under the pressure because he always grabs when he's under pressure. But he's not needed to do that. He seems to be keeping himself out of hands way just for the movement. Good stuff there. Pacquiao. Good left yeah, hand. Getting through there. But can't build anything back now, you know. I mean, usually you see him on the pads with Fred, you know, it's shown five, six, seven punches. He's not been allowed to build on any success. And that is down to the reflexes and just the natural talents of Mayweather. Tremendous right now. Two master technicians here. Real craftsmen. This is high class stuff. You know, Vitaly Klitschko has a radar because he's so terrified of taking punches and he never takes punches. Floyd has it, but it's not nothing to do with terror, it's just sheer reflexes and concentration. It's amazing what he can do in there. Just not the Manny Pacquiao we normally see, is it? Buzzing around, being a nuisance, he's not been able to do that. And again, coming up short. I wonder if a couple of these right hands have troubled him. I think he's been troubled because this is not Manny Pacquiao we're looking at at the moment. I think he's been stung by a couple of these right hands and has given him second thoughts. Well, there's another one came in there. Get the tape! Caught with a left hand there, Pacquiao as well. As he pressed and threw his punches. No, he certainly looks like a man has something on his mind, something to worry about. Well, he looked up to the skies there, Pacquiao, as he walked back to his corner. Just like this. We're back to my ball. Put the shot up. This is what you gotta do, man, right now. I'm telling you. Huh? Be careful with the elbow. Be careful with the elbow, okay? Here we go. Okay, you got right now. You got to bag him up, man. Just step out of the game like the best elbow. Hit that second one in the head, man. Let's go right there. Hit him with the right hand and left hook. I'm gonna show you that it's gonna go down. There's all Washington looking on, engrossed, as are the rest of us. And this fight just flying by. Round 10, just two more after this. The fight we waited for for so long is going to be gone before we realize it. We haven't yet had the drama that many were expecting and predicting. What is to come in the remaining eight and a half minutes here? You know, if you ask yourself, Nick, who has performed tonight and who hasn't? Now that's good stuff from Pacquiao there. Well, he's had his moments, hasn't he, Pacquiao? But that's it. We expected a different type of fight from him. And he's not been able to do what you think he would normally want to do because Floyd Mayweather is the master at neutralising an opponent's strengths. And Pacquiao looking at that, those left hands. But that's what we expected from him. He needs, he needs more of that. He needs to give the judges something to like. And of course, he may be doing that with these flurries. I mean, I'm looking at him, Jim, and I'm seeing Mayweather blocking so many of them off. But what if the judges have got a different perception? And Mayweather looking to go over the top with that right hand. <laughs> Pike out, block those. Both landed there. Mayweather backs off. Yep. Pacquiao reckons that one hurt him. 
can he follow it up? Look at Mayweather is look at the distance. If he was shaken, if Pacquiao did land something, he's not been able to capitalize. Mayweather not letting him in. Well, that's more like it, Pacquiao getting punches out, threes and fours. He's been trying to nudge his way forward, that is much better. Even if I'm not landing no, 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 cleanly, no, no. he's not allowing up, anything back. Again, that nuisance jab that Pacquiao is dealing with effectively, and it's just keeping him engaged, keeping him occupied. That's the feet. That's the feet they're tripping over each other again with the orthodox southpaw. You see that quite often. Last few seconds of the round. Pacquiao working so hard but just not being able to build up any kind of traction at all. And again, Mayweather rolling out of trouble on the bell. Carl, are you seeing any significant changes here? You know what? It's, from a fan's point of view, from a fan's point of view, I can I can see it being disappointing because. Floyd Mayweather's having it all his own way, and he's able to do what he's doing almost in, I'd say, probably the second gear. I want to see so much more from Mano Pacquiao in terms of pressure, in terms of backing him up, letting more shots go, punching in bunches, roughing him up even inside. Don't let Mayweather push his head down. Push Mayweather's head down. Hit him, you know, hit him round the back of the head, round the neck. Push him back. Rough it up. But I don't think he's got the fitness. I don't think he's got the strength. To, to do what he needs to do, and Mayweather, Mayweather's nullifying him. Let's not get, let's not get it wrong. Mayweather's absolutely brilliant. Is there a case to be made that Pacquiao might be winning this or be close on the judges' scorecards? Is there any way you can see that Pacquiao might have this a lot closer than perhaps we're seeing it? I can see what you're thinking and what you're saying, but really, any judge in his right mind should be scoring this one-sided to Mayweather. And it looks like it's going to the judges as well. Round 11. Mayweather, as far as we're concerned, looking Take comfortable and he's looking a bit ragged again here, Pacquiao. Taking it to him, Mayweather. Your car has him up by four. Carl Proch is not going to disagree with you, nor am I. And if that card is replicated with the three scoring the judges Pacquiao the feet. The feet. needs to put Mayweather on the floor and may need to stop him again the feet getting tangled up he's not had to exert much energy at all tonight Mayweather has he this has not been a hard fight for him again just slipping away catching him with a shot a solid jolting right hook now there is a sign of confidence if you needed one Stepping straight in for the uppercut, beautiful punch. And again, Mayweather just probing out there, making Mayweather, but making Pacquiao, excuse me, just think about things. Getting a left hand in there, Pacquiao. But he's never been able to flow, there's never been any movement, those angles that we talked about and we thought would come up, he's not been able to employ them against a guy who just moves in the ring like so few others have in the history of this game. But where is the Pacquiao passion that we see? <laughs> just, I mean, do you know, it's great fun sitting here saying what you should do against Floyd Mayweather. It doesn't matter what you do, he's got something to talk to, he's amazing. Well, I think that just sums up the difference between them for me, Jim. Manny Pacquiao can do one thing, Floyd Mayweather, it seems, can do anything. Last minute of round 11. Less than four minutes left of the richest fight in the sport's history. Pacquiao again looks to try and tag. Mayweather with a left hand, again everybody gets very excited but there was nothing there. The well has been empty so many times for Manny Pacquiao. 
And there's less movement from him now. Mayweather picking him off with single shots. I mean, imagine and Manny Pacquiao throwing single punches to Floyd Mayweather. What is he thinking about? Three times in the trot, he threw a single jab to the best counter puncher in the business. What is he thinking? And Pacquiao backing up. He's just out of ideas, Jim, as you say. Everybody can just sit here and say, well, you should do this, you should do that. Then you get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather and you find whatever it is you want to do, you can't do it. And I think Carl made a great point that from a fan's perspective, maybe this one didn't catch fire. It didn't really take off the way we thought it might as we just have a look at some of the action again. But instead, it's Mayweather has just turned this into a clinic. It's outstanding technical boxing. And he's not having to clinch for round after round because he's not really under any pressure. In the early stages, the early rounds, you can see he was having to grab hold of Pacquiao because of the fire that was in Pacquiao's performance. But not now he's got the time to deal with the attacks without a problem. He's going down, going the uppercut, OK? Let's round, let's round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go you. Well, here it is, the last round of what has been an engrossing fight from the first bout. And I think when the dust has settled on this one, we're all going to look back at those first two or three rounds when Floyd Mayweather came out and took Manny Pacquiao's game plan out, threw it out the stadium. And it's been Pacquiao playing chase up, shut catch up, not the other way around. And you don't chase Floyd Mayweather and win. How often have we seen this? Floyd Mayweather standing with a white stance, waiting for Pacquiao to come forward, but refusing to be pushed back. His tactics have been terrific. Reduced to plodding now. Caught with another counter as he just lunged in. There were those that thought Mayweather's legs were going. That Pacquiao was the wrong opponent for him because of that relentless pressure that he would bring, that high motor, the energy that just never lets up. Well, if those legs are going, Pacquiao has not been the man to find him. And a couple of clubbing little left hands there from Mayweather as well. Now we're seeing some cheeky stuff now from Mayweather. He is loving this. He's, he's, he's wishing this was back in the 15 round days. He's having the time of his life at the moment. A smile, almost a, an admission that it hasn't come off for Manny Pacquiao, who surely is heading to a sixth defeat unless he can produce something extraordinary in the remaining 70 seconds of this fight. Or, unless the scoring judges, of course, like his pressure, the fact that he's thrown punches, and you never know, this is Vegas. Well, we've seen some strange decisions in Vegas, but I can't make a case. I can't make a case. And looking at the corner, they've never looked happy, they've never looked tucked up, they've never looked like they're pleased about what he's doing. They've been pleading with them to do better. But remember the masterclass he put in against Saul Alvarez, Mayweather. One judge saw that as a draw. You just never know. The crowd on their feet as one here. Willing Manny Pacquiao on. There's some stuff being thrown at the moment, Nick, which is not nice. But that suggests maybe people who don't like Mayweather are making their point outside the ring. Pacquiao cannot pin him down. You don't have to like Floyd Mayweather. You have to admire and respect the greatest boxer of his generation. And he's proved it without any argument. He knows it. Pacquiao bravely going on till the end. But that is it. The richest fight in the sport's history is over. Floyd Mayweather doesn't seem to even have a bead of sweat on him.
his family happy. Carl, how are you seeing it? Yeah, you know, I'm just hoping. I've seen a couple of people jumped in the ring there, nodded and smiled. I'm just, I'm just hoping we don't have any controversy. How I'm seeing it is an absolute one-sided whooping from Mayweather. It's just, uh, I mean, 117, 111. Jim Watt scorecard there. That shows what went up. And he's, I think he's being quite generous there to Manny Pacquiao. Just come and close your round. Would you have it wider? Probably would have it a little bit wider. I only gave Manny Pacquiao two rounds. That's all I gave him. So I can't see how it can be any different. What that was, that was a boxing purist performance. If you love your boxing, you know what's going on, and you can understand the sport. What Floyd Mayweather did there was totally nullifying Manny Pacquiao. He got in there, he's so fun, sitting at ringside, and I said I was mesmerised early. I can now understand why he's unbeaten and why he's so good. He's so technically proficient. He's got such a fast jab. He's counter-punching right hand. And then they've got his movement. When he's backed up, you can't hit him. He ducks low, he gets off. When, Manny, when Pacquiao's on him, he, he pushes him pushes him down and holds him. He's a solid, strong unit. He's got a sharp, really, really fast jab, an unbelievable counter right hand. So you can't hit him, and he's just great offensively. Floyd Mayweather is brilliant. He deserves every penny he gets. But that, that, that wasn't a spectacle that we thought it might be. You're talking a lot of boxing technique there as the two fighters show their respect, but what about the psychological thing? How much damage was done to Pacquiao in those early rounds when he couldn't get anything going? Was he almost beaten?